Good afternoon, STEM students. Nandito na naman tayo sa ating General Physics 1. Ako si Mr. Ferman L. Maninang, ang inyong physics teacher. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang nilalaman ng inyong Quarter 1, Week 2 Activity Sheet entitled Plotting Ticker Tape Results DT Graph. MELC, Interpret Displacement and Velocity respectively as areas under velocity versus time and acceleration versus time curves. So, bago tayo magpunta sa mga yan, ang pagtutuunan mo natin ng pansin ay kung paano gumawa ng isang displacement time graph. Definitions, kinematics, branch of physics that study about motion. Position, X, it is where the object is at. Displacement, change, D. It is the change in position, distance from initial to final position. Activity, plotting ticker tape result, DT graph. Motion, 1. Materials, Xerox copy of the ticker tape results sheet at the end of this activity sheet. Lalo na sa mga humihiram or kumukuha ng printed copy sa school, Xerox nyo yung last page na ito. Next, number 2, scissors. 3, glue. 4, manila paper. Kahit gamit na. And lastly, ruler. So for motion 1, so nabanggit ko na, Xerox the last page of the activity sheet containing the ticker tape result. Cut the paper strip ticker tape result labeled motion 1. So yun ang dahilan kung bakit kailangan nyo ito ipasirox. Kasi kailangan nyo itong gupitin. So, ito ang para sa motion 1. 3. Mark every 5 dots in the ticker tape result. Every dot corresponds 0.02 second time interval. Napakabilis nun. 4. Label each mark with 1, 2, and 3, and so on. 5. Cut the strip on the marks to make several strips. Make sure that they are arranged from lowest label to highest label. <clears throat> so, ito yung strip. Bilang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then mark. And then another 5. And then so on. And then label each strip. Para kahit hanginin yan, pagka nagupit nyo na, hindi magkakapalit-palit. So, this is for 1. 2, 3, and so on. So, this is piece 1, piece 2, piece 3, piece 4, and so on. Number 6, paste the strips vertically as shown to the right. So, pansinin natin ang pagkakadikit nila. Hindi sila nagsimula pareha sa baba. So, at the upper right corner ng first strip, doon magsisimula yung second strip. 7. Measure the lengths of the individual strips and fill up the table below. So, gano'n to kahaba? Okay, dito. Ito rin. Gano'n kahaba? Ilagay dito. And so on. Kasi marami naman tayong strips kaya susukatin nyo yun. Ayon sa pagkakasunod-sunod. Pag dinikit nyo, ito ang itsura nya. <coughs> Number 8, determine the time each trip by multiplying 0.02 second. Kasi yun yung bawat isang tuldok. To the number of dots within the strip. So, 0.02 and then we have 5. So, yan. Lagay nyo rito. No? Determine the time. Dito yung nalagay. Kung ilan time yung limang dots na yun. So, just 5 times 0.02. So, para dito... Lagay dyan. So, ba? Sa pangalawa. So, naralan nyo yung pangalawang strips. And then, so on. Finally, number 9. Determine the speed by dividing the distance and time for each strip. So, for strip 1, ito siya. Kung ano siya, gano'n siya kahaba. Uh, divided by, sa time natin, you will have the speed for strip 1. 
And then, strip 2, gano'n siya kahaba. Divided by the time, you will have the sp speed for strip 2. And so on. So, mukha namang hindi mahirap, di ba? Pero kung nalito tayo, balikan lang natin, replay lang natin para masubaybayan natin yung procedure. So, for question 1, what can be said on the distance between the dots in motion 1 strip? Was it same distances, increasing distances, or decreasing distances? For question number 2, what can be said in the motion of object in motion 1 strip? Explain your basis. Was it at rest or nakahinto? Constant speed or hindi nagbabago ang kanyang bilis? Increasing speed or pabilis ng pabilis? Or decreasing speed, pabagal ng pabagal? For the next video, you, the motion 2 will be, will be discussed. I hope you enjoyed learning. In general physics, kalma lang. <laughs>